I'm joined now by Sarah Brennan, the chief executive of the charity Young Minds, who compiled these figures. Thank you very much for coming in. Such powerful words there from Grace, calling the cuts like a death sentence. Parents and teenagers and children must be shocked to learn that they don't always get immediate help if they have a, a mental health problem. Yes, this is one of the terrible things that's been happening over the uh, over for several years. Uh, but we are seeing children, young people waiting for a very long time before they access any kind of care and in particular services that help young people early on in the early stages have been particularly hard, hard cut and that means that, that we are seeing more young people becoming more sick before they're able to access any kind of help at all. And when you're talking about Grace when she was 17, mm. losing another stone before she could get help on the NHS, mm. this is presumably crucial when you've got a condition like anorexia. That's absolutely right. And indeed, for all mental illness, the evidence clearly shows that um, help early on is what is crucial to actually nip things in the bud to really help young people recover and get better. We know that there's no money for any government servicing, including the NHS, or, or certainly not any time soon. If a parent had a child with cancer, they would know where to go and, and how to get help at least. What should you do if you're in that position as a parent and, you, and you're desperate to get help for your child and, and you're being told, no, there isn't immediate help? I think it's a really good point that you're making. The trouble is services vary across the country. There is no um, absolute pattern about what should be available. So it is a postcode lottery about what you, what you have in your local area. The new money that's been um, agreed by government is extremely welcome. Uh, but we must make sure it doesn't just fill the gaps that have been made over the past five years. This is about the new sorts of services and it's about coordinating the care locally because um, we need to have schools aware of what's happening. We need to have social services aware and working together with health. Um, this isn't just one person's um, job. Brutally, looking at it from a financial perspective only, if a child, if a teenager isn't treated properly with a mental health problem in childhood, can that cost the NHS more in adulthood? That's exactly what all the, all the evidence shows is that uh, by intervening early, you actually, it's much cheaper in many ways, not just in terms of, of cost for care, but also the cost for the family, and also that person being able to go to work and manage life. So it has all sorts of costs, not just for the NHS, but for everyone else too.